Hello, Life Forms. It is I, Bonsai, and I'm playing some more of the Order 1886. Now, I don't know what happened Tuesday, but for some reason I played for 45 minutes and there wasn't a single bit of gameplay that was saved on my Twitch page, so I'm using the exact same setup that I used last night for Mad Max, so hopefully you'll actually be able to see this one. And if not, well, I really do apologize for that. I'm racking my brain to figure out exactly what happened, and, and, uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. And uh, I'm just trying to uh, bring in the best content possible for the limited resources that I have. Now, my thoughts on the game so far is, well, it's it's not too promising. The, the game itself, look at it. It is gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful. It has uh, great art and uh, great music. The characters are remarkably well drawn. And it's a great showpiece for the... Uh, technology that goes into the PlayStation 4. However, the gameplay is, well, not too good. It's it's a stop and pop game, basically, and it just takes you from one cutscene to another. It's more like an interactive movie more than anything else. I don't... I'm just going to come out and say it. I don't really like it all that much, but... I started it, and the storyline is half-decent, and as soon as I start any story, I have to finish it. Like, anyway. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just, I just keep coughing. Anyway, let's get back to the gameplay. Now, what happened last time was my character... Escaped from um, a dungeon, uh, he's been arrested for betraying the order, the order of the Round Table, obviously. And anyway, after that, uh, we backtracked a couple of weeks before that, and there was a prison outbreak in the East End of London. And what happened was, three of the prisoners that escaped were actually werewolves. So I had to put them down before they caused a panic. And the uh, Metropolitan Police right now are trying to cover it up and are trying to find out what's going on and where these werewolves are coming from. And the leader of my order has decided not to do a blood cursed thing about it. It's supposed to be our job to investigate this and to put down the werewolves, but, well... Uh, he's, uh, he's kind of shifty. For some reason, he doesn't want to do anything about it. He just wants to leave it to the police. And I already don't like this guy. I think he's going to betray me or frame me or something at some point. Uh, also, I... <coughs> uh, the, uh... One more thing I do like about it is the whole steampunk-esque style of, uh, the world. Like, uh electrical uh, arc rifles and uh, semi-automatic and fully automatic weapons and it's just a great centerpiece for the Victorian era and I I love the Victorian era England and and it just looks amazing it just fits so well but I just wish there was more actual gameplay instead of just watching one movie after another you're probably not going to hear a whole lot of commentary from me. This is probably the most you're going to get because I don't like talking over or the voice acting. So, and they are constantly talking. I mean, non-stop. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> that was a very long intro. I'm sorry about that. Let's get back to the gameplay, shall we? Okay, indoors I can only walk. That's fine. I guess my character has some manners, not much. At least he's got more than the Frenchman that we're playing around with. You are the most American Frenchman I've ever met. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You silly little English people with your tea and the little bath that you take. Oh, speaking Galahad of devil, we shall appear. In due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As <coughs> 
How many of us will make the journey to uh, America? Uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. <coughs> She's the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. Would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you'd permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dead countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head. No one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. Oh, for crying out loud. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Oh, going behind Daddy's back, are we? Well, we're going naughty, in. naughty. Most excellent. <clears throat> when do we then, move? You're not talking about Whitechapel, but my your pro brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials, Isabeau. A word. <laughs> Tell me, Monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is it, Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egraine were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order... What? ...the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général. Avec plaisir. Monsieur. Hey, stop talking French, frog. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never <clears throat> known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, uh, call it a sobering influence. <laughs> Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after <clears throat> my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Turn your phone oh, off, you know, professional bent. This way, there we go. Ah, Tesla. Sorry about that. Just the man. All right, can I? Can I go over here? Nope. Nope. Uh, grenadiers are not letting me through. Let's see. Okay, this is gonna be a slow, slow grind. I hate... Mm, excuse me. Why can't I run? It'd be so much easier. No running in the holes! I guess. Alright, what's this guy got? Does my uniform not look pimptastic or what? Hey, how you doing? You wanna let me through? No? Okay, okay. I feel like a cow being led to the slaughter, I really do. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Who's this guy? Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Mm-hmm. Long, awkward silence. I hate small talking elevators, I really do. 
I don't know why. You I missed just me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. No thanks. Oh, wait a minute. Is this. Oh, it's Nikolai Tesla! Cool! Alright. What do we got here? Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot! May the great man win, your friend Thomas. Thomas Edison. American inventor and entrepreneur. Two of the greatest minds of our generation will meet. AC! DC! AC! DC! This is so cool! I was going to school to be an electrical engineer, so uh, forgive me if I have a nerdgasm on you. Quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Oh, so this, so this is the old version. I got the new version on my shoulder right now. Nice, nice. I have to explore. I have to look at everything. Everything. Das Hindenberg. <clears throat> yeah, see, that's the new, uh, Alright. There. Jeez. Hmm. All gibberish to me. Nicola. You sly dog. <laughs> Plump and petite. Ox bell muses seven. Okay. Cute. Sort of. Not really. Laboratory. Is that like the bathroom or? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know. Uh, Sir Galahad. I'm coming, daggummit. Jeez. Please, this way. Okay. What do you want me to do? Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. Hacking tool. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Oh, of course. Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. It must be precisely aligned. The mercury oscillates with the current. Ah. There we go. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I hate many games. Like I'd this. appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. <clears throat> Here. 
A snipper riffle? S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Calibration may be necessary. There we go. All right, R three. Good. Some muffling might be in order as well. That you wouldn't have to. <clears throat> I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. The monocular that General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. Monocular, basically a high-tech telescope. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. Yeah, I'd right. I prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. <laughs> I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day? Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? Mm. The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the century. Well, that's cheerful. I bet he's a real handful at parties. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! I wish you would stop speaking in French. Collaborators and warmongers. I knew it very differently once. A lone chapel stood just there, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Nothing is as it used to be, Sebastian. True. The order, least of all. We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. Okay. This way, monsieur. Ew. Aren't we all big and bad? The ashes are still warm. Or is there anything else? Nothing? Okay. And look, monsieur, those lovely ladies on the balcony are waving at us. Lafayette? What the heck? <clears throat> it's an apple, okay? Okay, what am I sp okay. 
boy. Like a stuck pig, that one. Doesn't look good. He ain't getting up. Stay down, you stupid git. Living off the sweat of other people's brows. Your sweat. Your blood. And how does our okay, beloved get queen him. show her consideration for us poor mortals? By sending her precious knights to prowl our streets and violate our owns in the name of law and order! Uh, where should I be the here? Lord, I ask you? Yeah. I'll tell you where. Dead and buried! And where there is no law, the people must rise up! Rise up and fight! Reclaim their rights! They tell you oh, there are female insurgents. That's they different. They tell you England is making progress. What's all this progress brought you? Hideous slums, some no more than crannies of obscure misery. Okay, Born now he moves. Good, good. Well, that's convenient. She's dead because of you! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't care to dirty your aristocratic hands. It's all right. There's no need to be afraid. How could I have known he was a ripper? He was just another bloke. He killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, monsieur. I didn't know. Don't worry. You're safe now. We should head through this door. Him. Well, before I do that, let's have a quick look around. Aha! I knew it! Assault on Mayfair. Violence erupts in Mayfair District. Morning. Patience first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, this is what happened at the very beginning of the game. That's the part you missed. Anyway, let's headbutt this door down. Oh no! Another mini game. Hold L2. To drive air cylinder, exposing the tumbler position. While holding L2, slowly rotate R to vibrate diminutive. At least it's more creative than the one you see in Skyrim and Fallout. Any Fallout, actually. Okay, lots of alcohol. What kind of place? See what I was talking about? All the different cutscenes. There's no weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay, you leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the code closet. Give it here. And a fun governor. At ease, monsieur. A quick reconnaissance okay. of the premises. No Seems weapons? Anyway. So why didn't he take our swords? Ah, 
Oh crap. What we got here? Oz Belus Muses of Whitechapel. <coughs> Zelda. Alright, love. We'll take this nice and slow. Uh, all, all, all right. The Ravens of London. They're getting organized. Okay, I can't do anything with that. All right, what do we got here? It's crazy that my character doesn't know how to jump. God, what a pigsty. Join me upstairs, love. Another time. I can show you things you've never seen before. I don't doubt it. All right, if you want, you can uh, pause right here, and I'll let you read that. Three, two, one. Um, okay, there we go. This is no time for sport. We have to find a way out of here quickly. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. Are you about ready, love? You won't forget this, I tell you. Oh, I so did not need to see that. This way, love. Get in here. You're in the wrong room. Where's the little frog gone? He's in there. With his friend. Oi! Get out of there! Uh, <laughs> Hello? Um. Oi! Oi! Ah! There are some things you just can't unsee. Hey, I thought this was a weapons-free establishment, so why are they armed? Hello, monsieur. What do we do now? What do you think? You go out the door. Now, I take it if the Indies catch us, it's really bad. Alright, how... Alright, I guess we... Nope. No. Well... Oh! Go Assassin's Creed. Speaking of which, anybody they play the new Assassin's Creed game? I hear it's pretty good. Just wondering how it how it plays out. Okay, for some reason I Am I supposed to go down? Oh! Duh. We have intruders. Get your weapons. Let's go. Lafayette. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, they already know that I'm I'm here. Looks like we've stirred the nest. That looks amazing. Keep a lookout, Marquis. I need to find you through here. I shall be diligent, monsieur. Okay, I was hoping there'd be something else I could do. Because going straight into the building seems like a bad idea. I don't know why, it just does. Is he following me? Or, nope. No, he's not. Hello. Oi, what we got here? Anarchist 1286. C. Archive. The advocates of the London chapters have met and report the following. Uh, the events in Mayfair yesterday have once again raised our suspicions. The war has returned to our doorstep. And the half-breeds have, for the first time in years, made their presence known and provided a motive for the knights to be given authority to patrol our streets. The order has lately taken many liberties that we view cautiously. We must remain guarded. Such a powerful entity demonstrating its influence in this manner may lead to unwanted results, as has already been proven in the past. Unfortunately, Commissioner Doyle has little control over the handling of these matters. The journals have been updated and sealed. We shall continue to observe so the events as they, as they unfold. I think Commissioner Doyle is hiding something. I do not trust him. Hold up just a second, I have visitors. No girls. Come on. Come on. You two cannot be trusted in here. Especially you, Miss Marie. Any place that you do not want to have girls. Sorry about that. One of these days, I am going to have an uninterrupted stream, I promise. Uh, oopsie daisy. Is there anything to loot? Yes. Monsieur, can you move the crane? Archives. Sir Thomas Lemore. The author, 1470, uh, from October 1886, with a message from the party. Sons and daughters of Britain, Sons we, may, uh, and daughters uh, we of have Britain. entered a new era of prosperity we today. Our glorious empire awaits the ways of this march of progress as Her Majesty's Army era. and Royal Trust Knights keep a watchful eye over today, our motherland, holding our the Hakkari threat at bay. The United India Company holds our beloved Union Jack across the globe as you and your children enjoy the satisfaction of our days. Our motherland. 
Holding the half breed as each day dawns on our magnificent empire, the sun shines on a brighter future than ever before, a future that you could be part of. Every day, ordinary citizens stand up and seize opportunities and bring them riches and better tomorrow. You could be next. So I ask you, children of Britain, are you doing your part? Be a benefit to England. Bring honor to the empire. Okay. If you say so. Anything else? Nope. All right, Marquis. Get your ass over here. Funny, he's supposed to be the younger Spider Man, so why couldn't he do this? Or, well, it doesn't ma really matter. Come on. Down. Down. Oh. Duh. Oopsie doo. Damn time you showed up. Okay, that was probably a stupid idea. Perhaps the rooftops are not our best path, monsieur. You may be right. We need to find another way to the hospital. That is very tempting right now. But... M82 self-loading carbine. Up. Granados. I'll take that. Thank you. Let's see, is there anything else? Nope, 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 nope. All right, what's the difference? Oh, I can only carry one long gun at a time. Okay, I think I'd rather carry the carbine. The SMG seems like a good idea, but... I prefer a slow shooting gun. I don't know why, I just do. I'm weird. Drop down. Hey, you! Open the damn door. Oh, I can't go that way anyway. Eh, it doesn't matter. Slide! Hoop. Trop facile, hein? Shut up. This guy is a smart ass. We are not welcome here. Keep your eyes open. We don't want to create any further commotion. Look, monsieur. God did not save this queen. Snipper! Move! <clears throat> Alright. Fight Nothing through yet. the rebel Keep ambush. Ah, shit. Damn it!
that's no good. This rifle has... It is horrible. Alright, let's switch over to the sidearm. Oh, it's a double tap. Okay. Street. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the SMG because that rifle is just not gonna cut it. I mean, it, it's a good gun, but it's nowhere near good enough. Sniper rifle's tempting, but... And I like this revolver a lot better. Let's head up! Block the way. Really? Through the I building. I never would have known. Okay. Through which build? Oh, this one. You'll have to excuse me. I'm a little slow. How many of them are there? He's right here. I got him. Ah, 
shit. I still had the SMG. I must have picked up the carbine by mistake. Understood, Marquis. Oh, come on, that was a headshot. Get out, thuggin! That's what I'm talking about. Those bastards killed Nigel. Look! <laughs> 
shoot! Well, this is turning out to be fun. No, you're mine. Shit. I will fight them on the ground. Understood, Marquis. Yeah, you do that. That's what I'm talking about. Shotgunners ain't got nothing on me. Ooh, oi! Be careful, Lottie. This bloody boss has be busting his, his break points. I don't need him to know what I'm saying. God darn it! Kidding me? That was a bad idea. Shotgunner down. 
swear you More are useless. Okay, these are the ones armed with shotguns. They think they got sniper rifles. <laughs> Understood, monkey. Yeah, well, you won't fight them very well. They keep getting past you. Shut up and do your damn job. again. Shotgun 
He's right on top of me. Understood, Marquis. I did not want to hear that. Shotgun down. Monsieur, rebel neutralized. Switch back over the carbine. Heal, heal, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look out, Marquis. <gasps> we need 
need to keep moving and get off the streets. A little help with the wagon, monsieur? In a second. That is actually a pretty cool rifle, but it could be stronger, I think. God, that was a hellish firefight. Can we push a little cart? Okay, I'm only allowed one side arm and one long gun. I've got plenty of long guns to choose from, so... Uh, I think I'll stick with the SMG, that's fine. Get up! Jeez. Oh. Some kind of customs house? Poverty regrets. October 6th. Equality, liberty. Ouch! That was kind of dark. Why can't I just climb it? I mean, do I really have to press the X button again? Percival! Percival, do you read me? Save your breath, monsieur. The buildings are blocking the signal. Curse of progress. Hand me your monocular. I can see our target. The hospital is two miles west. Do you see our comrades? Not yet. There. It must be them. Shall we join the soiree? Soiree? Let's invite a few friends, shall we? <clears throat> Air Command, this is Galahad. I need response from anyone in the vicinity of Whitechapel. <laughs> Air All Command, right. this is Galahad. Think, monsieur. You copy. We are without sanction here. The Lord Chancellor will be most displeased. Lafayette does not fancy a court martial. We'll worry about that later. Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel 5. We are three leagues northeast of Whitechapel. Please take directions. Sentinel 5, this is Galahad. We require air support on standby. Acknowledge, Sir Galahad. We are signaling blue-red at a one-second interval. We request your visual confirmation for heading change. Okay, airship Sentinel-5. Is that it? Well, it's one of these things. There we go. T-28 monocular. Send the Morse code display below. Tap a touchpad for... Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel-5. We have visual confirmation of your position. Heading change to 224 degrees. Assuming holding pattern above Whitechapel in eight minutes. Acknowledge Sentinel-5. Await further orders at location. Let's go. Pestilence. The Parisian slums are more fragrant, I suppose. Mail smells like mail, monsieur. Anywhere in the world. What smells like what? Okay. Don't 
Lafayette. Ah. Enough to worry, monsieur. I'm all right. If you say so, Frenchie. Sack boy. <laughs> There's a little big planet joke in here somewhere. Would not our time be better spent hunting half breed? Patience, Marquis. This world again. Patience. Always patience. Leave that, Jimmy! Get going! Come on, I'll cover our bases. Yes, sir! Come on, French, you do something useful for a change. I need to reload. Constable, keep your head down. The constable needs our help. Yes, sir. They've got me pinched and reload. Where is he? Well, seeing as how I'm not coming back. Oh! I'm just gonna get, go ahead and let him kill me. I want to do that again. Let's try that again. Turn it. Damn. Forget it. That was cool. Stop for a pint, did you? We encountered some resistance. The rebels are better armed than we expected. Those markings look familiar. It's one of us. Where'd you find this? Follow me. You. There is enough firepower here for a small army. Some of this ordnance was manufactured for the order. Igrain even found an art gun in here. I was unaware oh. that we had lost some of our infantry. We haven't. Here, give me a hand with this one. How am I still walking after taking a knife in the leg? <sighs> See what's in there. What did you find? Essex M86. Thermite rifle. They saw their first field action a few weeks ago.
This one hasn't been assigned yet. How do the rebels get their hands on these? I'm making it my business to find out. Uh, uh, begging your pardon, sir. You need it upstairs. That's our cue. Wait a minute. Do I have to use this thing? I believe Mademoiselle requires our attention. Egrain, we're in position! Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Move out! Mm -hmm. What took you all so long? R2 to down. fire rounds of thermite grit that burst in clouds of shadow and dust. Knights, engage at will! Understood. Rebels, on the first floor! See them. We need backup. Bloody rest of that number. Inspector, stay under cover. I want a different gun. This this thing is not ideal. Take his arms. Gently, monsieur. I have him. I'm ready. Let's move him. We're sitting ducks out here. Galahad, find us a way out of here. Working on it. How bad is it? A punctured lung, I think. Another bullet through the stomach. Just rest easy, son. You're going to be all right. I wonder if this has any significance. The rebels are regrouping. Yeah, something tells me I need I to I found way out. figure out how to bugger out of here. You fought bravely for liberty. Mon ami. Everyone stand back. Igniting! That is a bad idea. But... Where I get the other drum from? Can we move him? It no longer matters, Monsieur. Save your prayers, Lafayette. There is no God to help him. Come on, let's go. Well, that's cheerful.
Jeez, my character is a dick. We're only a few hundred yards also, I do not like this thermite gun. I mean, it's great for clearing out enemies behind cover, but all in all, I really don't like it. Okay, all these are armed with pistols. Is there any of them that are... No, of course not. None of them are armed with rifles. Alright, alright, alright. Um... Mon de Dieu! Who built this fucking town? Dead ends everywhere! <laughs> Quite the shortcut. Brilliant. What now? Lafayette, monocular. We need to press forward now. There's a weak spot in the tracks. If I can get up there, I should be able to bring the structure down. The grain, Lafayette, I'll need you to provide cover. Possible with me. Well, that's not fair. Okay, I can only hold uh, 66 rounds. Okay. All right. Um, can I? Oh no, nope. Can't do that. Um, is there a? Oh, duh. Over here. Galahad, this way. As much as I don't like the thermite weapon, I might need to use it instead. Use thermite to bring the bridge down. I'm working on it, jeez. Thermite is in place. Watch yourselves below. Well, that was quite a mess.
Looks like the rebels are. Let's move forward. We are advancing toward target. Find a way to join us. Understood. See, it pays to explore. Rule Britannia, but where is the Queen? Well, God save the Queen, wherever she may be. Where's your commanding officer? Over there. Come on. Sergeant. Sir, what are Majesty's knights Why doing? haven't you secured the perimeter? We heard things up there. Safe to stay back. Bugger safety. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Do you hear that? Where are the rest of the rebels? Exactly. Dead silent. Something's not right. Galahad, did you? I saw it. So what? Half oh, breeds. They're converging from the hospital. We need to disperse them quickly. Call it in. Sentinel 5, this is Galahad. Do you copy? Sir Galahad, this is Sentinel 5. On standby. Sentinel 5. Requesting an immediate sonar payload drop. Confirming Gorton payload deployment. Requesting visual beacon for target location. Ah, damn it. Who has a transmitter? Here, monsieur. Use my communicator. Oh, the lad's useful after all. Au revoir. Locking on beacon. Releasing anchor. <laughs> Deployment in five, four, three, two. Incoming! All devices off! One. That's okay. our window. Go! Find out where these bloody things are coming from. I'll cover the rear. Monsieur, you will need this. Be careful, my friends. Always, Marquis. Let's hope these work. What does your fabled instinct tell you now? I'd say we should be prepared for anything. Nothing special in that. Admit it. You're getting rusty. God's blood. What could have happened here? Our bedlamites again, I'd say. No telling how many they might have killed in their escape. Look, there. Well, this looks like a grisly, but Such indiscriminate slaughter. I've never you seen done? this like before. Yeah, no Russian in W two. Escalating their rampages. Anyway, as I was trying to say, this looks like a great place to stop. It's been like an hour and a half, and so far the uh, the game is actually starting to pick up. I, as aggravating as it was, I did like that huge firefight we had in that courtyard anyway i hope you enjoyed it i'm certain ah i'm certainly starting to enjoy it and uh tune in back with me around 6 30 saturday and we'll play some more until then 
like, link, subscribe, do the whole social thing. And as always, I will see you in the next playthrough. Later.